Hello YouTube, this is T for T with Larry Musgrove, and who do I have today? Robin Riggs. And what did you do? I got my first invite ever at Columbus Regional. I went X21 and I got 21st. Alright, and what did you play the deck? I played Trick Stars. Alright, let's get to the deck profile. Alright. Uh, we'll do hand traps first. Three drill and left bird. Um, okay. This card is just so good. It like stops so many different decks. Um, this is definitely a must of. I think everybody knows that by now though. Uh, three, Ghost Ogre. Uh, I know a lot of people play two, but three is actually just really good. Um, I, I use this mostly against uh, Draco and um, Pendulum. Um, one Ash. Um, I honestly don't think you need more than that. Just kidding. Uh, I only had one. Um, if I had the other two, I probably would have done better. But actually, um, I didn't even really use it at all when I did draw it. I don't know why. I just, I guess I didn't need to. But it's still good. Um, and then I have uh, two of these guys, Effect Baylor. Uh, this actually put in a lot of work today. I'm really glad that uh, I made these. Um, it was really good in the mirror. And it's really good in the spiral. And, um, yeah, it put, it put, put work in. Look at me, I'm stuttering. Honest, I used this like twice today. Uh, it actually helped a lot. Um, so, I was really happy with this. And then, of course, we have the three Candinas. Must of. Three licorice. This is Bay. She's the best one out of all of them, I think. One Lily Bell. Um, actually, I kind of wanted, wished I played two just because of certain situations, but uh, people think that's bad, so maybe not. Okay, then we're going to go into spells. One Raigeki, obviously. Uh, that helped me win a couple games. And then, uh, we have three scapegoats. Uh, probably um, one of the major cards that helped this deck win. And then shout out to the pink one for my logo. Um, two desires. Um, I actually only played this like three or four times. And I was actually only able to get it off like once or twice just because of Ash. But like once you get it off, um, it's actually really broken. And I think two is the perfect uh, portion because you don't want to see it too much um, and then just brick with it. But two is pretty good. And then we have three Cosmic Cyclones. Um, I know a lot of people um, decided to play Twin Twister instead of Cyclones, but I think Cyclones is just really good because you don't have to discard a card. And I actually ended up drawing two against a Pendulum player. And at first I thought it was really bricky, but it actually ended up uh, letting me win the game because of that. And then, of course, we have the six field spells, three terraforming, and then three light stage. Um, I think this is a must. Um, there's a couple times where I would like side out, side out a terraforming, and I would still see it just as much. But yeah, it's definitely a mess up. Um, so we go into our traps. Uh, solemn Morning, one Solemn Morning. Um, solemn Morning is actually a really good card just against certain decks like Pendulums and Masterpiece and stuff like that. But I actually didn't draw it at all um, in any of my nine games, which I thought was really weird. It's probably because it's a common, but uh, it's still a good card to play. And then of course, these guys, the most broken card in the deck. Um, I actually Trap Trap Jeweled at least like two or three times and won because of it. So I was really happy with these. These are really good. Um, uh, one of these guys, um, maybe if I had more than one, then it'd probably be okay. But the times I used it, it I mean, it's just another effect failure. And I don't know, I'm really iffy on this card. I don't see why it's $85. It's not, it's not that great. Oh, and then we have the godly cards. Uh, Torrential Tribute. These were absolutely bay the entire, like, the entire day. I won so many games because of these. 
And most people only play like two or at least sided, but having three in the main is just so good. I'm so happy I made three of those. Oh, and then we have my favorite card ever, one magic cylinder. I always at least try to play it in one in the main or one in the side. And actually in uh, round nine, uh, game two, I was playing another uh, pendulum player and he ended up having uh, one Electromite and then two Supreme Kings and I had uh, two Licorice and Defense up on the field and um, he was like he was like you know these do piercing right and this was my only set card and I had already got him down to like 2k so like when he attacked with Supreme King I flipped <laughs> and cylindered him for game and then that's how we went to game three so I really love this card um, I used it at least like three or four times a day and it's, it's a really good like condition card so I'm really happy I played that. Okay, and then uh, we'll go into the side. Um, two strike. Um, the only time I sighted these in was against the pendulums, and um, I just don't like I don't like having to pay life points for them. Um, these really didn't. There really wasn't a time where I was like, oh, I wish I had strike or anything like that. Um, just because I had the impertinence guy and then the effect veilers. Uh, so, so yeah, two of those. Um, three Gamma Seal. Three Gamma Seal is really good. Um, there's a time uh, where I used Gamma Seal against the Draco player when he got Masterpiece out. So that's really good. Uh, two Eater of a Millions. I absolutely hate this freaking card. Um, I know it's a good card, I just hate it so much. Um, I sighted it in like two games, and I drew it once, and I hated the fact that I drew it. I just, I hate this card so much. Uh, two Call by the Graves. And I know this is supposed to be really good in the mirror. Um, I don't know, I guess it's okay. Uh, two anti spell. It's really good against uh, Spiral and um, True Draco. Um, I didn't. I said it in, but. Pendulums. What'd I say? Spiral and True Draco. Yeah, and Pendulum. And Pendulum, whatever. Um, it's okay. I don't know. I said it in, them, but I didn't draw them, so. Um, two Chaos Trap Holes. I, I love this card because this is uh, this is really good against uh, the Pendulums. Uh, it's good against uh, Draco. It's an alpha masterpiece, and then it's good for the Mirror Match because they're all lights. And then two D Barrier. Um, I actually ended up drawing both of these um, game one against my Pendulum player. Sorry, Griffin, and um, that's how I won that because this is really good. All right, and then we'll go into the extra deck. Uh, one break sword. I didn't make this at all. Game one. It's a situational card. Uh, I still think it's pretty good. Uh, I just, I just didn't, I just didn't make it at all. Um, this guy. I also didn't make that guy at all. Um, I know like some people play them and he's like really good. There just wasn't any situations I had to where uh, it would have been useful to me. Um, then we have a Kish, a Kish Kick Magician. I also didn't make her at all. Uh, Firewall Dragon. I mean Firewall Dragon once and it was pretty good. So I guess that's a good card. Uh, Borlo Dragon. Borlo Dragon is just a broken card itself. Um, so, yeah. Um, I actually made this at least like three times today. And it was really good. I'm happy I put this in. Uh, it's also another situational card though. But like when you need it, you need it. Uh, Trickstar Holly Angel. Uh, I made this at least three or four times today. God card. <laughs> It is a god card, uh, especially uh, when you do like Lily Bell and bring licorice, and then yeah. Um, so I summoned this card at least at least like five or six times today, and uh, it was just really good. It's really good um, if they have like a lot of back row and stuff like that. Uh, 
So Nightmare Phoenix is really good. Proxy Dragon. And, uh, this guy. These are just all the uh, necessities. Um, I actually like playing against Rook. And then there was a couple times where I even like. Um, I had like a reincarnation set and I used an against Rue's effect to destroy my own reincarnation just so I can bring out um, one of my um, one of my trick stars. So that's so that's like a really good combo. Uh, Skulldred, I didn't make that once at all. Told you. Okay. I don't know like this is also another situational card that can be really good, but I just didn't make it at all. Uh, Mrs. Radiant, honestly. Um, and then Top of Luck Obama Dragon. People sleep on this card, but it's actually really good. I played this a couple times today, and it was, I thought it was great. Oh, and then I only have one Link Spider. Um, because there's a, uh, I guess there was like a miscommunication with, with me and my friend when we were building it. He didn't know I didn't have Link Karibo in my deck, or otherwise I would have played two. But actually, I didn't even need up uh, needing two Link Spiders at all today. So like maybe one Link Spider is okay. I definitely wish I had at least um, one other uh, one level Link one. Link monster. So yeah, that's about it. All right, and any shout outs? Uh, shout out uh, to the best team ever, T for T. Uh, I love everybody. Thanks for believing in me. Thanks for joining my team. I love you guys. And then uh, shout out to Larry Musgrove because he helped me with the build and uh, he helped me get some cards. Um, there's other people I want to mention too. I just forget. Just mention them on Facebook and, and we'll, get, we'll catch you later.